Yeah, go on. <laughs> I remember Master Splinter once said to Shredder, right? One with a metal face should not use the word rusty. <laughs> and that has really stuck with me and it's been in my Facebook bio since 2010. I fucking hate running. Um, fucking rage following me. I was once a Raji that said, can I lend your bike for a second minute? I'll just ride it round like that wall and I'll come back, I swear down mate. I just got it that day. I was like, aye mate, it's mint innit, go on, do that there. Cause I'm friends with, I like to be friends with everyone. And he got on it and he was like, ah, I'll see you later kid. <laughs> just fucked, that's a true story. It's a true story, you <laughs> fucked off, I was like 11 and a half. Mate, I, for being on foot right, I chased him all the way from Denton Burn Library to where Sainsbury's is now. Uh, right, and I fucking nearly caught him at Sainsbury's, and he was pedalling on a bike, like I was really bothered. And then anyway, my dad went and got it later that night. Like he fucking just went into the fucking abyss of Scotswood. <laughs> I think he just went with his brother, like my uncle, and just like I remember thinking, how the fuck is he gonna get me bike back in the whole of Scotswood? Like, and even if he does, there's gonna be like twenty Rajis standing outside of a fucking house. He came back with a bike. I'll never know how the fuck he did that. <laughs> return of the... It's actually in a British accent, isn't it? Return of the Ronin <laughs> means like... Um, you ever seen Art Attack? Fuck all to do with that, it just means Ronin's back. <laughs> what was that head again? <laughs> the, uh, the grey, like, bust. It's just statue. called head. Was he? Literally called head. That's what the next line about is, actually. I thought it was new of the kind. Yeah, the old heads say they don't like this shit. It's about the head from Art Attack. You know he what? He just, I thought he was a good fan, man. Nah, he's not me. He gets on me wick. He shouts a bit too much, to be honest. I do. And he takes the piss out of people that are genuinely trying to draw. I know. Like, like fucking Sarah from Bucksnall, like doing a fucking mm -hmm. thing out of spaghetti mix in her own shape. Yeah, exactly. Or like George from Cambridge, who used like patty and nasal hair. <laughs> Rap kids think that I'm dead because I blinked. Hardcore kids think I'm big for my boots and I don't speak truth when I say I'm in pain. That's because sometimes, right, when I sleep, I sleep like this. Right? But like, just like that, right? And I don't even like, I don't snore, I don't breathe, like I just, it looks you like- You don't breathe? Nah, I don't really, I'm, I'm all right. Sometimes I'm just like this. And sometimes like people would think I was dead because like, I don't breathe that much and that. And that's exactly what that line's about. It's nothing to do with anything else. It Like if I do blink and it's for a prolonged period of time, don't assume that I'm dead. <laughs> If it's for longer than five minutes, try and look at us, say, is he moving? If I am moving, make sure I don't walk into anything. <laughs> I bet when I'm better than wannabe mate, he's out now what that means. That means that once we're fucking come back and we're doing really good, it's already happened. I've already had people messages since Charisma came out. I'm not gonna say who, but you know, they wanna, they wanna be a bit involved in that now. And it's, it's not necessarily any of the fucking demographics that I've mentioned, but like that's what it means. It means as soon as we're doing well again, I bet you a tenner people fucking come out and they're like, oh, fucking hell, can I be in the next music video on our lot, Lee? Fuck off. Yes, I. Push my luck till I die. Still got that fire, you can see it in my fucking eyes. In like 2010 or something, um, my mate was staying over my house at a house party and he was asleep and he had his cap on his face. And I thought it'd be really funny to put cayenne pepper in the hat, right? And just put it back on his face. And it didn't drop off right there and then. But like I walked past like an hour later and just tapped it like that and the cayenne pepper fell on his face. And I thought it would just make his face hot. But it didn't, it went in his eyes and it really hurt him. And he really was not happy with us, understandably. So I said, mate, I'll literally sacrifice myself to show you how much I care about you. Like, I didn't mean to do that and I will put myself through that same pain. So I got Sandro, you don't know who Sandro is, but Sandro knows who he is, he's gonna be watching this. <laughs> to put a pile of cayenne pepper on his hand and blow it into my eyes, and it felt like I had fire in my eyes. And that's what that line's about, it's not about anything else, it's literally just about that. So that's what that, it's quite traumatic, that bar, you know? It's, it's I push my luck till I, because obviously I'm pushing my luck, I thought uh, I'll be able to get away with this. Just yeah. a bit of cayenne pepper in my eyes. You know, he, that lad done on the internet and his eyes got he's really shiny. Guy. I make a bitch ooh, ooh like hentai. Show your dogs how to do it like senpai. Why you gotta act like a prick that's cacti? I'm Professor Oak to your bonsai. You ever watch hentai? I'm impressed that you just admitted it in front of everyone. <laughs>
I actually haven't. You probably have. Well, I have. Like, I've never went to it though. Like you probably watched it right when you've been on. Back in the day when porn sites had the fucking really, or even game websites had really obscure fucking porn banners and stuff. Yeah, I've seen that. There was always like yeah, Marge it. getting shagged by a bot or something. Or like Marge getting shagged by like a dragon with a cock. Yeah, yeah. We've all seen it. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. Just taking the piss. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. Obviously, I still go hard for this shit, but my confidence don't rely on it one bit. Yeah, my confidence don't rely on it one bit. I just mean, even if this wasn't here, if one of wasn't here, whatever, I'm still fucking Jack, and like, that's that's why I'm confident. It's not because I fucking think I'm the best rapper, or I'm fucking hard, or I'm some kind of like lyrical gangster or whatever. I just fucking do what I want, and I was confident before all this. You know what I mean? You're whipped graveyard shift. Oh wait, it'll sound better when it's mixed. Don't kid yourself, you may as well admit, running in dead in your head isn't fucking bits. Eh, uh, you're whipped, I just mean like, you're really, really bothered about like, what people think about like, I mean, we're bothered what people think in that, but like, being, if people don't like what you do, or don't share your music, or whatever, like, um, you know, getting really pissed off about it, and like, letting it affect your self-esteem, like, directly, like, uh, or graveyard shift, no one's listening to your fucking music. I don't know who I'm saying it to, just anyone who wants to be a knob. No <laughs> one's listening to your fucking music. Oh wait, it'll sound better when it's mixed. Probably doesn't. Probably doesn't sound better when it's mixed. Suck my nuts, I don't give two fucks. To be honest, not many people are gonna understand that one. It'll probably go over your head. Um, I don't really feel at liberty to explain that right now. I don't have the energy to go through what that actually means. If you don't get it, you don't get it, you know what I mean? It's quite an intelligent bar. You don't like running, but your grandma does. Our biggest demographic who we market our music to is over 50s. Um, we've tried to get in all the knitting magazines. What's that magazine? Home Living? Yeah, yeah. We've just got a feature in there as well. Charisma is being featured at the back. Yeah. But uh, basically, what, like one of the, the main promotional costs for running is putting ads at the back of uh, granny magazines, like Home Living and that. And we just have a number on it. And it's like, if grandmas are getting a bit lonely and that, they can just ring us to talk. Nothing or, sexual. You thought it was going to be something sexual, didn't you? Like, sometimes they just want to tell us about what their grandson's done. And, yeah. Or sometimes they're like, I've fallen over. Yeah, and, and then we, we just, obviously have to ring 111. We just ring 111 and yeah. then, then 111 tell us to go help them sometimes. But we're thinking of doing, like, a running rescue squad. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Yeah. Or we'll take your bitch to Crufts. Walk her round on a leash. Give her treats. And fuck. What's that about, like? Um... We're basically like, we've got the running bus. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the running bus and like, now when you get on the metro and it's like, please sit down, please stay away from the doors, the doors are closing, you might lose an arm. Yeah. It's like that, but I was just goes, sit down and then we drive off. And if you don't, yeah. The, the consequences The are. consequence says on the side, like, right next to where it says in case of you emergency. You either get a fine or... Or we'll take your bitch to Crufts. Right. Um, and sometimes that means just, you know, taking her just for a walk along to see the dogs. Uh-huh. Maybe get a mix-up. A mix-up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What do you mean a mix-up? Like, pick a mix. From where? From Crufts. Oh, do they do them there, like? Yeah, yeah, they do them for humans and dogs. Right, okay. So... Whatever one she wants, really. Yeah. Very lately I'm learning how to make the most of my burdens. I'm the skinny cunt that walks in a room but still makes your boyfriend nervous. If you've been following us since the if you've been following <laughs> us since the start, you'll know that fucking bar. That bar was on the very first video I ever did yeah. in my mom's house. Just fucking like what a fucking tune as well, I don't Sever the head of my enemy, Genghis cannon up under my arms like I carry artillery. Something like energy, turn to a beam for the people that doubt me that's heresy. Doesn't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's just wordplay. Uh, of course, there is no such thing as a Genghis Khan, you know? Yeah, but it's like a cannon and Genghis Khan. If people didn't get it, you know what I mean? That's whoosh, just sometimes it just goes over people's heads like, like that, mate. You've got to try and explain it to them, you know what I mean? Chef's kiss. Yeah. Here's where we're meant to be, kind of incredibly, pen and obscenities. I've got the spice in the recipe. Obviously, this is where I'm meant to be, you know? It's Kani Raj. How much? Rad shit I write in that lake. 
I've clearly got the spice <laughs> and the recipe, <laughs> obviously, because I've written it down. You can't make my fucking meal without my recipe. Must be hereditary. My dad was a bastard and I got the tendency. I got the chemistry out me medically sick. I'm a demonic entity. Uh, my dad was a bastard. So it probably is hereditary. I probably do have that tendency to be a bastard, you know, because it's hereditary. Aye, you know I mean? aye, bastard sometimes. Um, I've got that chemistry. Uh, I like watching Full Metal Alchemist and that, which talked about alchemy, so I dropped an alchemy bar in there. Like. What about when you put uh, bicarbonate soda and as a vinegar together? In the, in the, in the uh, uh, volcanoes. You've done that before. All the time. See? It's, it's, see what I mean? I've got that alchemy. I come at you broadside at the same time, I'm gonna run up on a flank with a pen brake lines. Like, I'm just gonna run at you from the side. Yeah. Like, take you out or something, you know, yeah. take you out or something. Um, and then run up on a flank with a pen and brake lines. That's wordplay. It doesn't, like, I don't have my head, I'm not that fucking intellectual to actually understand why I wrote that. Yeah, it just comes out. It just makes sense, like, doesn't it? Running at someone with a pen. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can smell the enemy, hear me coming with a hundred like a centipede, hold someone got him running like a stampede. Right, so if you have ever played Battle for Middle Earth? Yeah, yeah, it's Battle for Middle Earth too. I can smell the enemy! Um, hear me come with a hundred like a centipede, obviously... I've got like five mates, I don't have a hundred friends, but if I did, would run out here, it would be like a centipede, because I've got a hundred legs. Oh, is that what you meant? Yeah. Hold someone, got them running like a stampede, just had to fucking rhyme something with eed on the end. That wasn't anal bead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Long cat's back, been a long break time. Fuck a swinger from a sack like they want a fake smile. Same people want to clash like they've run an eight mile. Um, yeah, like obviously I, I changed the keyboard. Well, I, I like started doing some singing stuff in that. Um, and I've, I've decided to bring Long Cat back while we do Running Clan because it's a bit of rapping and that. And Long Cat's just a fucking cocky bastard. Now we get on to the really serious stuff. This is when I actually fucking put my heart and soul into it. Must be senile, flaky penile, salty meanwhile, running came back to your mum's like it's tea time, I might jump in a bath like it's me time. Must be senile, because you're a mug, flaky penile, you're obviously limp. Um, <laughs> salty as well, because you're fucking jealousy, you can smell the jealousy on your mate, it's like fucking cheap dupe jump and that. Um, obviously, as Jack said, grandmas, mums, they all love running, so came back to your mum's like it's tea time and then I might jump in a bath like it's me time have a bit of fucking mm, kumbaya in a bath and that <laughs> cause we've got charisma on command tell your bitch to tell her man that he's a bitch and I'm the man eh I mean I don't actually think like this that's too good to not be a bar somewhere it's, else that must be a bar somewhere else like, there's no way no well, one's it's too good the whispery bit at the end is why do you think that your words make a difference you can spin on my dick, got more charisma, even when I'm sick. Um, I just mean like, even though I'm really fucking ill and like basically dying if I don't get me surgery, I somehow managed to put in more work than everyone else still. So, I uh, don't know how that works like, but obviously when I'm better and I'm uh, doing even more work, then, uh, you know, can't catch us. Yeah man, where's running? Oh, yeah man, yeah man, where's running? Where's running been man? I couldn't fit all that in. I've been helping me nana do a garden, nicking loads of dusties in West End. Uh, basically, I've been helping me nana do a garden. Uh, looks lovely, she's got a little tulips in that there. She's got an allotment. She's got an allotment. In West End? In, in West End, no. Just the top uh, of the hill? No, no. Next it's the flats? It's, uh, it's just doing by the little oh, tommies in there. Oh, the fucking... <laughs> that one. <laughs> I want to then. Ah, turnips. Um, fuck off. Stop my nuts.